guys, Viper here. Today I'm going to show you all how to set up uh, harvesting paths. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, uh, Some of them might take a little while, just depending on how many obstacles and whatnot that you have in the way. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. Um, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that harvesting is working correctly. Um, or at least how the bot thinks it's going to work. So walk up to a node and the default key is the confirm key, which is numpad 0. Walk up to a node and press 0 on the number pad. It should target the node. That's a good sign. Hit it again and it should open up and start harvesting. If it does not do this, when you press this key, you need to toggle numlock because your numlock is turned off. So just hit numlock, try it again, make sure it targets, and you should be good to go. Alright, now the next thing that you want to do is make sure, uh, check all of your options here on the bot. One of the things that you probably will want to change that I've changed in future versions is the harvesting delay. Um, go ahead and just change this to one. I know it's three. Three's too long. It'll wait three seconds in between every time it picks at the mine. It's way too long. So change it to one. And then uh, you'll probably want to turn off player detection. This is another thing that's enabled by default uh, just to help people from getting banned. But for this video, I'm going to turn all of that off so it won't bother us and give us some messages that there's people around us while we're harvesting. All right, now uh, you can also, let's see, um, you can pull up a radar and uh, you can turn off everything but resources and you can kind of see where resources are. Um, the ones with the little purple dots means that it's inactive. The ones with the little X beside it means that um, it's not available yet. It's it's a, a, a spawn point where a node could appear. Uh, if you kind of if you've been harvesting before, you kind of know exactly where these are. They just kind of randomly pop up. Um, but we're going to start from scratch. Let's just turn all this off and uh, let's create a new patrol. All right, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make navigation lines, and these are green nav lines, from some point in the middle of your area. This is kind of like Miner's Alley right here, to have a clean line of sight to where we're going to harvesting. So let's, uh, let's auto-add some navigation lines to some of these nodes. All right, now, as you see, it drew some green lines. So when the bot sees that node, it will try and follow the green navigation lines to get to that node. So let's just go ahead and add a few more. We have four of them here. Let's just go ahead and tag off four of these. Alright, there's the second one. Alright, now I kind of like to go back to the middle so the bot kind of stays in this middle area here while it's traveling. Alright, there's another one. Got that one. Now let's see, there's one more down here. And we're going to go down here and then kind of come actually I'm going to go a little bit further and then kind of come back to it. Alright. Now why why we did this is because if we didn't let me go ahead and stop this recording for a second. Like let's say we were here at a node right here. It, the bot would try and go straight to that node over there and it would just start getting stuck here behind the tree. But with these nav lines the bot will say, oh, okay, we have to come all the way back here, follow the path around, and it'll navigate towards it. So we've added, let's see, one, two, three, we've added four of them, so let's add a couple hot spots. Now, hot spots are where the bot will travel back and forth while it's looking for nodes. I only like to add two, maybe three um, around here, so let's just go ahead and add a couple. There's one automatically, and as you walk, every um, 30 or 40 units, it'll automatically add another one. If it doesn't, um, you can stop it and it'll add another one right there. Uh, actually, that added a waypoint, so let's delete that and let's add another one and stop. Oh, I see. I have it so that it adds a final waypoint, but not a hotspot. Alright, so we have two hotspots. We have one here and one over here. So what'll happen is the bot will start here and it will look for any nodes within 30 units. That's probably a little small. Let's, let's go ahead and up that to 50. Uh, just be sure and save. And it'll look for anything, any nodes within 50 units of this hotspot, which is a pretty big circle. I mean, it, it's something like this. And then if it doesn't find any, it'll travel here to the other node and then look for some more around this area. All right, now we are doing 
Let's see, we need to add our target. This is a mineral deposit. So it will only try and find mineral deposits. Let's save it. Let's start it. Finding example. And let's just see what happens. Now it should find... Beginning patrol. It should find the four that we just defined and try and harvest them. All right, found one, pulled it up. Now it will harvest the last thing that you harvest. So right now it's harvesting earth shards. If I wanted to change it, I'd just click on lapis lazuli. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it'll start harvesting those, and it'll continue to harvest those until you change it to something else. All right, so we harvested that node, and it found another one. Now this one right here, you see, does not have a green nav line to it. Now, go ahead and stop this. All right. Now there was no green nav line to this node right here. So if for some reason we were at this node and there was a tree in between us, it would just go straight to it because there's not a green nav line. So let's go back here in the middle somewhere and let's just add on some extra nav lines. So we're going to auto add and we're going to add that node in. As you see, it just added some more green nav line. So now the bot will know how to get to that specific uh, deposit. And you're going to want to do this, you know, just let it run for a while. Um, it'll it'll go until it until it, you either get stuck or you find one that it can't get around. Stop it, add some more nav lines. Now there is one bug. I want to go ahead and mention it. Um, I just uh, made sure I save it. Now even though I just added this, it, it it's a bug. I, I, I know it's, it's kind of crazy, but the best thing to do is to stop this, start another one, and reload it so it makes sure that it loads in the new green nav lines. Otherwise, sometimes it won't, and you'll, th and you'll think, well, why didn't it go there? It's just a bug. I'll fix it in a later release, but for now, that's, that's just a simple workaround. All right, let's start it up again. Beginning patrol. And, uh, and let's see what happens. Alright, we harvested that one, and it'll find the next one. Alright. Now see, it's following the nav lines. We went all the way around this tree, and we're coming back. we got a clean line of sight. Now this one, again, does not have a green nav line to it, but it didn't actually get stuck. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to mess with adding a nav line until it kind of gets stuck, because sometimes the nav lines will overlap, and it might actually get stuck behind a tree, because it's using... Uh, another line that might be close to it so I, I would recommend just letting it run for a while and see if it does get stuck and wherever it does get stuck then go ahead and add some more nav lines so here's another one this one wasn't on our list it didn't have a nav line to it but because it's kind of in the middle it went straight towards it it got as close as it could in the main uh, harvesting alleyway here and then just headed straight towards it uh, we'll let it do a couple more and we'll just see what happens Found another one. No problems there. Now let's do one more. Get a full 10 minute video here. Now let's see where it goes next. Alright, back around the corner. And there we go. And this will just run and run, and it'll harvest all night long for you. All right, so let me stop this. Now, I'm going to add one more thing, and I only have about a minute to do this, so I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can. Uh, let's close this, close this. Now, when you load this patrol, it will run a hundred times. And this is usually several hours, so I mean, you can increase it to you know some huge number if you want to but what you can also do in case you want to share this profile with someone else let's make a new campaign so let's make a campaign let's see let's uh, start a patrol add this task mining example I'm gonna run it forwards uh, let's just loop it a hundred times alright let's add another task uh, sorry cancel cancel Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, let's see. Delete. We can add another task. We're going to add a task. Go to one. So it'll run this a hundred times. Then it'll come here and 
go back to one. Now there is one more bug where if go to is on the last line it doesn't work so all I do is I just double it up and now it'll work. Now if you want to share this with other people on the forums now that this is done you just come here and click on export it'll open up a window it says where do you want to save it you save it you can upload that to the forums and then they can come in here and they can click on import and they can import that file and it'll have everything that they need as far as the patrol to start harvesting. Well that'll do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any other problems just please let me know and I'll make some more videos. We'll talk to you guys later.